Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll discuss a topic that I get asked quite frequently, deep polls. Whether you're thinking of changing your name or just curious, here are the top five most frequently asked questions about deep polls in Singapore. And of course, I'll be answering them. FAQ number one, what is a deep poll? A deep poll is a legal document that allows you to officially change your name. It's a simple process but has significant legal implications. Once you sign a deed poll and get it witnessed by a lawyer, it serves as proof of your name change for all official purposes, including updating your NRIC, passport, and other identification documents. Frequently asked question number two, who can change their name using a deed poll in Singapore? In Singapore, you must be at least 21 years old to change your name via deed poll. However, if you're under 21, don't worry. Your parents or legal guardian can apply for a name change on your behalf. For minors, both parents usually need to consent unless there are special circumstances. Frequently asked question number three, what names are not allowed? The Immigration and Checkpoints Authority in Singapore will not accept names that are offensive, vulgar, or overly lengthy. Additionally, names that are misleading like trying to take on titles such as Doctor, Dato, or Sir, will be rejected. Keep it sensible. Frequently asked question number four, how long does the name change process take? One of the most common concerns is about timing. So how long does it take to change your name? The drafting of the deed poll at the lawyer's office itself takes less than five minutes because it's a one-page standard template. But once you sign the deed poll and have it witnessed, uh, the process uh, can be quite quick you will need to submit the deed poll to the Immigrations and Checkpoints Authority within 28 days to update your NRIC. And this usually takes three to five uh, working days. You will also be required to change your passport at the same time. Frequently asked question number five, do I need to notify anyone about my name change? Well, of course, after you update your NRIC, you need to inform uh, the various government bodies, banks and institutions, such as your employer, uh, the banks, the insurance companies, your school, your university. Don't forget your utility companies, uh, SP services, Starhub, M1, whatever, and even social media profiles. The good news is that most organizations accept a copy of the deed poll as sufficient proof of your name change. Of course, you, you have to uh, perhaps uh, uh, make a photocopy of uh, your old and new NRIC showing your old name and new name. And that's it, the top five most frequently asked questions about deed posts in Singapore answered for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.